In this episode, I'm making a burger, but not just any burger. I'm calling it a twisted burger. A bunch of us on YouTube have decided to get together and show you our favorite burgers that we make. And we're also adding one local ingredient to the burger, making it a twisted burger. Right. My twisted burger starts with a poblano pepper. I'm just gonna put it here on the grill, let it cook for a little bit. That way it gets soft and I can cut it up really easy. Our poblano pepper has been on for about 10 minutes. Low heat, I think it's time to check it out. It is starting to cook just a little bit there. See how it's starting to get darker? Let it continue to cook. But the next thing that we have here is some bacon. This bacon's gonna go down on the Cuisinart 360. While our bacon cooks away, just wanna take a look at our pepper. And I think it's done. As you can see on the pepper, I mean, it's dark. The skin is really starting to shrivel up. Super hot. We're gonna let it cool off for a moment and then we're gonna scrape those seeds out. The peppers had several minutes to cool off and then you can kind of see in there what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna cut it in half. It's very delicate. I just wanna scrape the seeds out and then just start cutting it. All right, we're gonna put these off to the side and it's okay if they cool off because they're gonna go back on to the grill here when we start putting everything together. This cook, I am using pre-made burgers and I'm also gonna cook these pre-mades right in the middle of that bacon grease. It's just added flavor, baby. Excellent, cook these things up, see you in a bit. While our hamburgers are cooking away, I'm just gonna take our bacon off, let it cool off, cut it up. Let's take a look at our burgers. Not bad. Not there yet though. We are gonna use some Uncle Steve's Gator Shake on our burgers. Our bacon's had some time to cool off, so we're just gonna cut it in half. Nothing crazy. Perfect. Got some onions cut. Getting close. Let's check. All right, let's check out these burgers. Look good. Right on. Give our burgers another check. Oh, I like it. Heck yeah. All right, let's take them off and build these bad boys. I'm just gonna start with some of our pepper. Put it on top of each burger. It's gonna give it a little heat, but yeah, nothing major. Let's put some bacon on these. Here's the twisted part. I'm going with MFT's Mild Barbecue Sauce. They're a local company here, and they make some great barbecue sauces, hot sauce, you name it, ketchup, awesome stuff, really good. Pour that over top of each one of these. We're gonna seal each one of these with a piece of cheese. I really want that cheese to just get in there. Woo! Let's seal up this burger. All the flavors, all the juices, you name it. Put them back on the Cuisinart. little splash of water in there. Perfect. While the cheese is melting, I'm gonna take care of our buns. I'm just gonna put a little mayo on each one. Just 
Spread that mayo around, it's kind of like that. We're going to put them onto the Cuisinart. In the meantime, a couple of these are done. That rocks. Show you up here. This back one. As you can see, the cheese is just sealing in as it melts all of our goodness down in there when it comes to the bacon and the barbecue sauce, our, our poblano pepper. Just sealing it all in. I want to show you these burgers. I mean, they have really, that cheese is just, it has melted down, got in there, sealed all of our goodness down below. I think we're ready to build this burger and eat it. For me, I pretty much have everything I need. We're just gonna start by putting, do we want one or two? Yeah, I'm gonna go with one. We'll just lay some onions down on that. I love pastrami. I could have heated it up if I wanted to, but you know, it's going to be nice enough in here as it is. Put it on there. I mean, you could have absolutely have warmed this up and it would have been awesome. A couple pickles. You could throw some mustard on here. I'm going to throw a little bit more mayo on top. Then, you know, you never have enough. We used MFT's Mild Barbecue Sauce. If you're ever in the area and you see this, I highly recommend grabbing it. It's good. There's our burger. That is not just a plain old cheeseburger. That's, that's a burger right there. Wow. You know the first thing that hits me right out of the gate is that poblano pepper in there. And it's just, it's not hot. It just kind of, yeah, I'm here, I'm here bacon, pastrami, and everything. That barbecue sauce, wow. <laughs> it's just got flavors all over. This, my friends, is a twisted burger. Beautiful. Make sure you check out the hashtag twisted burgers and see what everybody else has got going on because I have a feeling there's going to be some good burgers out there. And uh, who wants just a boring old cheeseburger? All right, until the next time. Peace, love you. Bye.